Ha! <laughs> Should I leave this bow strung? Oh, is this your fence post bow? Yeah. I I personally. What about this bow? Hey, I made a video about this bow. It got four million views. Should I leave the bow strung? How about this bow? As somebody who makes bows, I would say just don't leave your bow strung. Although you can, for sure, absolutely, all wooden bows get a pass. Fiberglass bows, maybe a little bit. It's not the best. All right, we're interviewing Jeremy. Oh no. Do you unstring every bow you have? Yes. Do you unstring every bow I have? No. Do you break my bows? One. Hey Jeremy, what you doing with my bow? Well, seeing how much uh, abuse it can take before it breaks. Abuse, huh? This bow has been strung since September. Dang. As a test to see if one of my bows would break. And this fiberglass is thinner than the stuff I'm gonna sell. The scenario where I leave bow strungs are twofold. One, like that one up there that I don't really care about and I was too lazy to unstring it and if it breaks, it breaks. Or the second one is my personal bows that I make if I'm gonna sell it. Like I have, I've got that one strung for six months and I still shoot it just to torture test it. That's the goal. So it's not really like. Should you leave a wood bow strung? No, from... no. I mean, you can. Should you leave fiberglass bow strung? Not if it's hot out. How about bamboo backed? No. He doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> if you're a beginner to archery, I would recommend to not leave your bow strung. That's why I said if it's hot out, no. I personally have no experience with it, but I hear heat affects with. What temperature? Like inside of a car on a hot day. If you've been in archery, just do whatever you want to do. You've got enough experience on your own. I'm not trying to convince anybody to do anything. I'm just telling you what I would do. And in my recommendation to all the haters who think I can't dance. Now do a backflip. You're right. At least nobody will be able to say that I didn't have a good time. All right, I have one take. So I officially think if you leave a bow strung too long, like, it gets worse. Here's the deal. Are you leaving? Yeah, I got some personal stuff here I'll take care of. Get back to work! Okay, so, <laughs> thank you, appreciate it. Bows? lose performance if they stay strung too long, and I believe this with fiberglass bows. And even with just normal uh, fiberglass and wood bows, part of the reason is wood is never at 0% moisture, basically. I mean, it technically can be, but it, there's always some moisture in it, and that moisture generally is sealed within two pieces of fiberglass and then has a finish on it. And what happens with... Is this interesting? I just didn't want to interrupt. Oh, no, you're good. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> what happens with wood, I hope it's interesting or else I shouldn't post this. What happens with wood is uh, it has a memory to it. And so what happens when you leave the bow strung over a long period of time, the wood is remembering that new position, therefore making it less powerful because it's remembering that new position, which is already bending. And you don't want it to remember it being strung. You want it to remember the position of being unstrung. That way you can store more energy and have a faster shooting bow. So even fiberglass bows, in my experience, have a little bit of string follow. With that being said, I leave my bow strung. <laughs> like a true archer. All Bye. Right. See you later. Have a good one. Hey, that's my truck. Let's get your license plate real quick for everybody. <laughs> There's the ice fishing sled. If you want to see us go ice fishing, check out the other channel.